Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about misfires on your BMW with the N54. A few tech tips as far as um, if you encounter a misfire and what you should do next on this video. Let's get started. BMW engine starts misfiring, you can have some very easy telltale signs as far as why it's misfiring. Now, you have your just general spark plug, right? Your spark plug is obviously sparking the fuel, it's like an ignite and do its thing, okay? So a quick and free easy way to dissect a misfire, if you have just a general you know, misfire on whatever cylinder, first thing that you can do is go ahead and take, so you're gonna have six coils here, go ahead and remove whatever cylinder coil that you're working with. So let's say it's in cylinder three. So here's cylinder three. I know only cylinder three has a misfire. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take off this coil and I'm gonna take number three and then I'm gonna move it to either number four or number two. So you're gonna put it on, right? Have it all connected, start your car up again, see what it does. If the misfire goes from cylinder three to cylinder four or cylinder two, then you know your coil's bad and that's what's causing your misfire. Well, let's say you do that swap, okay? And you still have a cylinder misfire in number three. So obviously you know that's the coils out of the question, not the problem. What you can do is you can go ahead and pull out your number three spark plug. Just take a look at it, see what you have on here. Uh, if it needs changed, Obviously, the, the further that the electrode gets worn down, it's not gonna spark very good, especially for the N54. And actually, you need to replace them every you know, 12 to 15,000 miles, uh, especially if you're tuned. This is a big one, right? So th these are my old plugs that I had about 12,000 miles on them. That's when I swap them out. They're fairly inexpensive, like $65, and uh, you can be off and running. Now, what you can do if you are up for plugs to be changed, I would go ahead and replace all six spark plugs so that way you just have fresh plugs and you can see what's going on. But you could always swap out a plug into a different cylinder after you let it cool down and you'll be fine. You know you gotta dig deeper. This is where a really common, very common problem, so your coils go bad, yes, your plugs, yeah, they go bad, they wear out, cause a misfire, it happens. But here's gonna be the big kicker, right? Your N54 injectors. So these are my old injectors, so I swapped them out for a brand new, all six, index 12s because I was having fuel mixture codes, okay? And as you can tell, these tips get pretty, pretty bad. Now, what you can do, since it's gonna sit eh, just about like this, uh, when you pull that spark plug out of number three, go ahead and smell your spark plug. If you have any kind of fuel on here, obviously it's fouling out the spark plug, and that means you know it's gonna misfire. If, it, if it's getting wet with fuel, it's not gonna fire correctly. So if that's the case, then you know you have a bad injector. So it's like, hey, I know my no injector number three is out. Now what you can do is, here's the index number here right here. This is a 08, so it goes from one to 12. Right now, one to 12. Anything 11 and 12 and under, you can replace with any other index in number three. But if you wanna move up to index 12 or even some older index 11s, you need to replace it with each bank, meaning bank one, two, and three has to be index 11 or 12. Bank four, five, and six has to be 11 or 12. So if you wanted just to do one through three and just do index 12s, you can go ahead and do that until you get the other ones. My big point of advice is that there's no need to go out and spend, because they are pretty expensive now, and they were a lot cheaper when I replaced them, but, um, if you only have one problem with the injector, you don't absolutely have to go out and replace all six at the same time. I did because of my mileage that I had in my car and I was having issues and really in both banks. So I just wanted to go ahead and do it and, and do all index 12. So I do have a DIY, of course, on your plugs and your coils and your injectors for the N54 that, that you can uh, check out here. I've been showing it up here at the top so that way you can click on those uh, DIYs. But this one's gonna be a big culprit because out of really out of everything, just because if you have older original injectors, just not like how these are, these just fail too often. Now, obviously they have 12 different versions 
uh, of these injectors that are out there and a lot of folks that have older N54s like here, 08, 01, 07, 06, 05, 04, 03, or two indexes, they're gonna be just, they're just gonna fail over, I mean, just gonna fail overall. So you can also have a misfire for your fuel pump, uh, both pumps, so your high pressure fuel pump or even your low pressure fuel pump. So you can do that with data logging and you can do that. Um, so you have, of course you have that, but um, you can also have your O2 sensor go bad and causing different readings. So you can have that as well. But first and foremost, check out all of your codes that you have that are coming up because it will help dissect it. And even doing data logging and everything can help try to pinpoint uh, the issue. So you, if your injector's going out, you're definitely gonna have fuel mixture codes because it's not reading it right on the O2 sensor. So don't think it's the O2 sensor failing. It's your injector. You have just general misfires. It could be either or, all three of these, or a combination of two. So go with the cheaper route first, or actually the free route first, right? Swapping coils, free. Plugs, very inexpensive. Just go ahead and change them all out. See if, you know, if you're due for it. Um, but if you have, obviously you have brand new plugs in, it's most likely not brand new plugs. Look further into each of your injectors and just really see. Well, that's really about it, right? Just dissecting your N54 even deeper. Um, you know, in, injectors play a huge role. Plugs and coils play a huge role. You know, I've experienced it all of it firsthand as far as all three of these components and even O2 sensors and having O2 sensor issues. Generally, you'll have an O2 sensor or a code that dropped on your car, not so much fuel mixtures or you know misfires, but anything can happen on a BMW as far as what the DME is thinking it's doing and what's going on. Just have to take your time, having the proper tools, uh, you know, scanning the car with the proper you know code reader, doing data logging with you know JB4 or MHD. Sometimes have to dig deeper into your problem so that way when you are ready to make a big purchase, right, to you know change out your injector, spend 600 to $1,500, you wanna make sure that you make the most rational decision and the most accurate decision because the last thing you wanna have happen is you spend all this money and you don't fix the problem. So take your time, figure out the problem first before you start spending the money. Uh, that will go a long way um, as well. Just don't keep throwing money at the car thinking that you think what it is. Take the steps, take the baby steps. And let me know if you guys have any questions, of course. All right, that does it for today. Check out those DIYs that I have, of course. Uh, help you uh, do it step by step. If you have to do it, save you some money, of course. Um, I have the O2 sensors, the primary ones as well, that are very important because it helps control the fueling and everything else in conjunction with uh, your BMW. So check out that DIY too. I'll have all those in the description box below. Check them out. All right, guys, big thumbs up in the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for sticking around. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Take care.